in to the online broadcast network. After Buzz TV, over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Hey everybody, we're back! Such a long time ago. I didn't. I can't even remember the last time we were here. <laughs> just kidding. So welcome to this Castle Season Eight, Episode Two X Double X. I'm just gonna say it that way. I am your host, Alexis Torres. You can find me all over social media, and where Alexis Torres is are sold at <laughs> A Torres. <laughs> but guys, I cannot do the show alone because it would be very boring. To my left here, I've got a beautiful lady. Oh yes, thank you. I'm JJ Snyder. We're back. Season eight, episode two, and look who we brought into what? the studio. Hello. Hello. What? Hello, everybody. Anyone recognize this guy? This is Sun Krishbala, the actor who uh, starred in the second episode. Who I have thoughts for, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna save your thoughts. Yeah, let me, I'm let me ramp them. up into this yeah, thing. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mm, give it all to myself now. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, this was exciting, right? Oh my God, it was so exciting. It was exciting and scary, and 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 um, just why? It's been wild. Yeah. Yeah. And did you watch it on Monday night? I watched it on Monday night. I was like madly tweeting everyone back. Nice. People were mad. Some people were really mad at me. <gasps> I can see that. You can oh. see it. Are you one of those people? Yeah. I didn't tweet at you. I was going to wait until I saw you. Okay. Person. Okay. Give it just to saying. me live. I'm just kidding. No, I'm really excited to hmm. see how your character goes, but I'm also really suspicious of your character because I'm like, I don't know you. You're new. I don't like change. Mm. Mm. Well, change is good. Change is necessary. Change yeah. is difficult, but I know. it's necessary. But I will accept it for now. Thank you. And we we are as fans dealing with a lot of change at the beginning of the season. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it's like they threw us right into it. They really mm. didn't like not like without nope. a moment's notice. Didn't even mm. give me a chance to breathe. Yeah. Like at all. Yeah. We had that happy little moment, and then uh, it was off to the like off to the races. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm okay. We're, um, we're so glad you're here joining us today because we're yeah. going to get into this. No, and I want to because there was a lot that happened in this episode, but I wanted to reach out to you guys and say thank you guys for hanging out with us and really being ready because I've been getting tweets since season seven. Be like, when's season eight happening? Who's going to be on the panel? Who's going to be your guest? Obviously, we already have one. We already answered your prayers on that Hi. one. Um, and that don't forget to go to iTunes. Please rate us five stars or four stars if we need a little bit of improvement. Put some comments in there. Don't forget to hang out with us on the live chat, which I already can see you on there. And, and can I say, if yes. you are listening on iTunes, you know, which would be a podcast, mm -hmm. hello. <laughs> hello, iTunes. See, we, we, we love all of you guys. And also, don't forget to go to uh, the YouTube page and leave a comment there because we're always going to ask that. And also, if you're using Twitter, use that hashtag ABTV Castle. So, now that I've gotten that, you got all it out of the all way, out, girl. We need to talk about you, sir, and your character and how you just disrupted our beautiful castle couple. To I get needed your stuff her help. Done. <laughs> I needed her help. I, know. I was in a lot of trouble. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm so excited that this happened because I wanted to see her in action, and I really felt bad that Castle kind of got left in the dust, but I feel like it was just kind of cool to see her in her element, you know, kind of not ready for it. Well, so. and just being so, she's such a thoughtful person, mm -hmm. uh, Beckett is, and to just see her having to react and just know that her instincts are on lock. Seriously. What mm. a badass. I mean, and she had to stitch. <laughs> I mean, she had to stitch herself up. That was that scene. That whole oh. time, I was just like, oh. I felt I'm like trying to listen to you. such a wuss complaining about my low blood tweet. sugar. I saw your tweet. Yeah, I love that. blood sugar. Yeah, I was, yeah. well, I, hey, blood sugar is nothing. To hey, no, that is true. What? That is true. That's how I felt about your character. I was, I was like, like, oh no, he somebody get him, needs some get him some food. I didn't know that is not a joke, but yeah. really, I mean, she she there there was a yeah, hole in her body. Yeah, she was drinking vodka and pouring vodka out of her. Okay, that that was absolutely shocking, and it took me back to a time when my dad actually stitched up a um. A, a cut in my foot as a child. Uh, uh, my dad uh, was a doctor, but he decided instead of taking me to the hospital and letting me uh, have anesthetic, he would like just do it like cowboy style. And I will never what did he, forget. Did he, did he like light the the the, 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 needle. the sewing needle and stuff? You know, I he had a he had a proper um, uh, surgical needle at home because oh, okay. he had oh, so a little doctor. So kit. wild west. No, it, but it 
hurts. Yeah. The fact that she was just like, uh, Did it give uh, you a cork uh, to chew on like they no. did in the Civil War? No, but my sister, my older sister nice. was holding was me and I was like, it was so Civil War. That's what I was getting <laughs> No, when I see the war, they give you whiskey. They yeah. give you whiskey. Yeah, that was my first thought. I'm like, I oh, have vodka. Whiskey. All right. So, I mean, to me, that was, well, first of all, we also saw her in her brassiere, which was I was like, like um, I'm crazy. jealous. She has a nice bra. That might have been my yeah, first day. I did. I was going to say, I was like, what? what? I, said, I, would, yeah, I was trying to play it like I was trying to be a gentleman, having yeah. just met uh, the lovely Stata. Yeah, it's like, hey, Stata, how are you? Oh, your shirt's off. Okay, oh, this nice is happening. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Um... So, but yeah, I can't say that I hated it. No, I'm, I'm jealous for you. Do you like, remember meeting her, being introduced to her? Tell us what that was like. Yeah, please. Oh gosh, um, she's a, amazing. She, I literally, I was, I'm a shy person. And I, I met her for the first day. We were, the first day we were shooting um, the stuff when I meet her in the theater. Mm -hmm. And she had just gotten back from filming in Italy. She was doing a movie this That's summer right. in Italy. Mm -hmm. And um, we didn't like she she was rushing somewhere else and we 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 shot the first take of the scene and they were moving the cameras around and she literally goes sun Krish, sit down what the hell is your story and then we sat and oh. by the end of the day she is she's the cutest i love oh. so cool I'm it's so too sad. cool she's cool. so nice she just likes like time out we're taking time, out. time to connect with what's your deal no, uh, yeah. Stana, I don't know how, I know you don't have any kids right now, but if you would like to adopt a, a really pretty half black, half Filipino girl that would love you forever, that'd be me. Uh. <laughs> I, would, I would love to listen to you talk about stories. Anyway, that, was, <laughs> that wasn't creepy. Um, so obviously we had you guys start out and you guys are in this drug bust apartment and that was, I was not expecting that. For, for a second there, I thought it was her mm. old apartment. That's what I was thinking. Mm. I was like, and it just she just for like the maid stopped coming. Yeah, well, no, because I know that she she moved out and that she was moving in with Castle. I think so, she kept her apartment. Did she? I okay, think she I missed did. that completely. See, I'm not even a true fan. Um, but I don't know if they like talked about it, but I think she said like it was important to her that she also kept her apartment. No, smart. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I don't blame her because that was Little a beautiful independence. apartment. No, I love it. And um, your your character's like, I'm, I'm. Are you sure we're safe here? Like, which well, yeah, the look place, at the place. I mean, the place uh, that we were shooting was like in a warehouse in in downtown LA mm, yeah um, I can tell and, yeah and um it didn't smell safe yeah I bet uh, I bet it I mean that literally terrible. it smelled terrible in oh there. it was it was genuinely it wasn't dressed to look dirty it was genuinely dirty uh, There's a well lot. the art department's amazing so I don't know yeah. what was dressed and what was okay. not but uh mission accomplished yeah, yeah. uh we were filming really late at night so I like I just felt bad for the like the last guy on the crew cleaning up because it's the darkest scariest well, there's right. probably somebody there that must have helped him. Like, there's no way he was there by himself, right? No? Maybe? Well, there's always, like, one guy who's turning off the lights at the end. True. Yeah. That's true. The key. Oh, man. Yeah. I feared for I that guy. I that you get paid a lot, yeah. my friend. Yeah. That would suck. Um, but I love how you guys got saved by broken glass. Because yeah. in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, these guys are really stealthy. You guys <gasps> she's sitting there washing her face. She's about to walk out of the bathroom. Oh, so there's a in there. million of them. Yeah, I don't know how they were able yes. to do that. So as soon as I heard broken glass uh, and then Kate stopped, I was like... How about the, the <gasps> shot of the gun on the sink? Where you're just yeah. like, no, no, no as soon as gun. she walked out of her the bathroom, I was like, why did she leave her gun in there? Yes, yes, mm, it was you killing do me. That. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, darn it, I left it in there. And I was just like, no. I know. <laughs> And then the glass, and then the glass, and yep. then she turns and yells to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then she covers you. And, and then, awesomest scene that we were asking you about before we started today is that running down the hall and you're being, there's there's lasers. just There's lasers going gunshots. Thing. There's what? gunshots going off against the wall, which by the way, I did my own stunts, everybody. Yeah, tell us about that. Uh, Stana didn't. Uh, <laughs> oh. Dang, calling you out, calling Stana. You out. Oh. Cut it. Um, no, uh, fired. no, she had to do like the heavy. She was like pr literally protecting me. Um, yeah. and <laughs> because uh, Vikram uh, does not so much with the uh, shooting and the uh, running. Ooh. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was my first time. It was my first time really doing a stunt on television. Mm. Um, That's awesome. I I do comedies a lot. Um, I mean, I <laughs> wonder why. Never tell. I don't know. Um, yeah. But Where uh, get that they from? literally were like, uh, all right, the crew was given like safety goggles and like. Uh, earplugs and mm -hmm. we we're like there are gonna be live explosions on the thing they're like Sunkers, good luck to you uh go for it you'll be fine uh, you'll be great you'll be yeah. fine they kind of uh, threw you into it. <laughs> and i will stand by <laughs> i have to say like in person too like you have a real fun funny vibe and on the, the episode <gasps> like fun fun e I'm how fun? i'm not funny like, how dare like you like <laughs> like a clown i think it, are you entertained right now you get you get what i you're you're <laughs> playful can i switch Yes, Adjectives? I am playful. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Okay. I was cool with the other one too. Now, what I noticed I in your episode, because I I looked you up and I knew you were joining us, and so I kind of looked at you know roughly your age. You really um, 
came across as mature in the episode. Thank you. Yeah, like Thank you. like you could have been 35. Oh, I am not I mean, 35. But you know what it is? <gasps> no, you're not. No. Uh, not I, would, I was like nowhere it's, close. It's I think it's your voice because you have a deep voice. I have a deep voice? You yeah, do. like even on the I show. Do. I was just like, Whoa. You do. My Whoa. voice is deep. This guy it's is. quite deep. It's no, do you know what I mean? Real. Like no, no. he really no. had a... Um, I thought I thought you a mature were a, vibe on the until I met you today. Episode. I thought that you were um, a drama actor. Really? Mm-hmm. I I've only recently started to be able to do dramas for like the, I'm 31 and the better part of my 20s I spent doing a bunch of comedy. See, I didn't even think you were in your 30s. I thought you were like 27. Really? I had yeah. the opposite problem. When I started the first show I ever did, mm-hmm. I had a wife and a kid, and I played 35, and I was 19 years old. Whoa! Oh my gosh. I've sort right? of been Whoa. switching, and it's been weird. <laughs> also, okay. can, can we can we talk about part of the reality? And that is, I mean, does the facial hair have anything to do with it? Uh, does the facial maybe, my hair... My make me younger, you're saying? Well, does it allow you to play both younger and older? Because it's almost like a, you know, like a little... Like, I don't know. What right. really it's doing for me is giving hmm. me a jawline I don't have. <laughs> That's really the, the purpose of this thing. Uh, but maybe, I don't know. Well, I mean, I understand what JJ's saying is because right now the lumberjack look or just the scruffy manly look is like a thing right now, which yeah. I mm-hmm. didn't know that was a thing. But um, It's been a thing for a while. You know it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, I'm come not, on. So I thought, you, you don't like it? Mm-mm. I'll shave tonight. No, oh, <laughs> don't oh. do that. I think it looks good on I you. Knew he is I smitten just, with you. I'm just one of those people. Like I mean, and we'll talk later. Okay. Um, but no, it was more along the lines of... Uh, I had that dad that if he just shaved and he had stubble, he would like rub it across your face. Oh, like, yeah, yeah my dad too. Sandpaper yeah. faces? It is so sandpaper. <sighs> but that's those. cute. It's part of being a man. Yeah. Um, again, so <laughs> can I ask you a personal Straight question? Up. Yes, please. Are you, do you consider yourself a hipster? <gasps> no. Why See, would you say so? Because it's associated with beards. That's a fair I question. No, I don't think I'm a hipster. At all. I don't think I'm cool enough to be a hipster. Like, I don't know any Lies. obscure bands. I don't know mainstream bands. Um, okay. I, so no. And like... I really thought I was like grew this beard to look like a lumber sexual person. I think it's um, working for you. But the, br- but the brown, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a, it's it's a, a thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but awesome. yeah, I ended up looking like one of the seven dwarfs. No, um, the um, the but the beard, the brownness counteracts the thing because like brown and beard is also another thing. I uh, know. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, Looks thanks, great. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah we like thanks. it. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> before we keep going and just throwing compliments at you, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I also have to talk about the fact that um, just I love how because of, between these two episodes, how we were able to see from Castle's perspective and then see it from you and Kate's perspective. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. How they were so able cool, like my right? favorite scene, which again I know that I'm probably going to speed through a lot of this, is the fact of the security scene in the hotel. That was my favorite part of jumping oh. from when it was actually happening 16 hours before to and then the clock moving. Oh, so cool! Just seeing what they were looking at, what Alexis and Haley were looking at through the security cameras, and cutting back to you guys in real time. Like that was. Mm. It was Why really are, interesting yeah. for us to to do that, and because I don't think Castle's done anything like that before. Nope. Mm-hmm. Um, and the, I mean, all credit to the writers; they were they wrote an amazing Castle episode. But it was really amazing. interesting to see. Um, how the audience would be able to track mm-hmm. that. And I know they put a lot of work into the logic and the mm-hmm. timeline of both the uh, what was going on with Castle and with Beckett. Which I know mm-hmm. a lot of TV shows can do that and you're kind of like, huh? Like, what's happening? What time frame are we in? What when time is zone? this actually yeah, like happening? Jumping. But you guys were able to do that so flawlessly and I'm not like saying that you guys watered it down or anything, but you well, guys were able to when you say you guys, I it. had very little to do with it. Well, you know, but even just your acting in general was just, it was still great. Like, I was sitting at the edge of my seat going, they're in the door. He is still at the bar, had a shot of whiskey, and is like, oh, you're about to... T-. And it's, then you got out with your tip mm. on there already. I yeah. was like, this guy. Yeah. We need to hang out Gratuity's more. Gratuity's important. Hey, man, no. Ah! No. Kids, tip <laughs> of the much, day. How Gratuity. much do you think is an appropriate amount to tip? I'm a straight, only because I the like the math is easy. I just divide mm-hmm. by five. I, uh, I go okay. I just do the mm-hmm. straight twenty percent. I'm in entertainment. I can't do math. So uh-huh. well, yeah, and and people assume I can do math, and mm-hmm. people assume that I can. Be, I'm a good tech person. Like I don't know. That was for, actually a question uh, from Mariana. She was like, "Are you an act? Are you like yes. tech savvy? Like your like your uh, I character?" I grew up in Silicon Valley to Indian parents, and um, so unfortunately for them, it's your birthright. It, yeah. it's, it should be in my blood, <laughs> and uh, it's not. Yeah, all right. It is not. I. I literally had to take a friend to help me buy my new MacBook because I didn't know what, what to the get. Apple Store people were saying to me. Well, it's you like, know, it just sounds like we like to do here at AfterBuzz. We like to just shatter stereotypes. So I think we just did that. Thank you. Right? Progress. I mean, I just did it earlier. <laughs> I'm blazing all the way. Um, That's right. But, Blasian but, with but, purple but, hair. Blasian. Yeah. What? Um, but 
the that but I know that we we didn't get to really like talk about it, but that was my favorite scene was just because of the fact that it was just really well done. It was just smooth as glass editing. We all understood what was going on, and just I wasn't expecting everything that came out of it with the fact of uh, Bracken being dead. Like I wasn't expecting that. Were mm-hmm. you expecting Doesn't that? Doesn't that change no. the game a little bit? It does. No, and I'm really glad that that was the thing that just like really did that mm, twist, yeah. like that whole thing. So that was really cool, and I love how. The word before he died, that the word lockstat was enough to make, or mm-hmm. yeah, lockstat, lock, yeah, was it able to seriously shake up a person who was just you see his face yeah. just fall. Well, yeah, I'm, totally. That actor, I've loved him since like He's Heroes really and a couple good. other things, but like he, he'll be back on Heroes. I know, but like. I, I don't think he's going to be back on Castle. No, I don't think so. If he does, that would be hard to believe because that what's that? Flashbacks. Yeah, true. That's true. Right. Um, But I know that was that was a good assumption. But no, just just thinking about how the fact of whatever this thing is is enough to shake Bracken down to his skivvies. Like that's kind of crazy. Well, they said that he like attacked someone so that he would get into solitary so that no one could get to him. No, which was got to him. Well, that's the thing is that he probably thought because the fact that Kate and Castle had shown up already, that's two times too many to Mm -hmm. have this word being sought out to Mm -hmm. him. So uh, that was probably a red flag and he already knew that he was probably going to die. So he thought maybe at least if I die here and not Oh, I thought it was so that he could separate himself from the general population so that he maybe wouldn't die. Yeah, but I think in the same time just like um, our our mystery brunette in the first episode who was like, I'm going down on my own terms. I think they they, they just Uh, know that they're... I think there's an element of that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not not saying that that's exactly what happened but in my brain, the first thing I thought of was, oh, he wants to make sure that he's safe but I'm like, are you really safe from these people? They seem like the type that would just like any right. means you right. are dead that's why I'm surprised and it Kate turns is still out alive. you're right yeah you're right. Mm. Um, but I, that's why I'm really scared for Kate in this one which um, as much as all I know a lot of fans are very upset with this ending with the fact of uh, Rita who is well she calls herself Rita is Castle's stepmom she helped you guys get out of that crazy very smelly area to <laughs> hang out you're with- like who who are you? Well yeah. I'm just assuming that lady? obviously she's just I mean the way I liked I use the term cleaner because that's what a uh-huh. lot of people use in other TV shows. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. But the fact that she used the keyword, which she gave you guys the card and everything, was like, oh, you need your curtains cleaned. Curtains I was like, cleaned. oh, you're a cleaner. So you're the person that, you know, what is it? What is a cleaner? Yeah. Uh, someone who assassinates someone and then cleans it up without people knowing. It's kind of like what uh, like Olivia Pope does, but instead of her being a fixer, she's like a person who can kill somebody and clean it up at the same time and not have anyone else be attached to it. That's why she can't be around other people because she, she has too much blood on her hands. Right, already. I'm sure wow. that's an aspect of her job. I wouldn't doubt it. Again, mm-hmm. I'm just speculating because I'm one of those people that like, I'm looks with you, way... I'm speculating with you. Well, thanks. Um, Did but... you have to read the script like multiple, multiple times to, to like, understand keep up? what was going on? Because there was a lot of get jumping. It. Well, I was new to Castle, so I, mm-hmm. I had to read it. I like to read scripts a lot, but like mm-hmm. I, I was also new to Castle, so I was just trying to get the for the first time I was trying to get figure out who was who and yeah, then um, totally. and then um, the the subsequent times it was to just yeah to get the rhythm of it and the time was going back and forth yeah it was the first couple it was a challenge a little bit yeah yeah yeah. and then you mentioned uh, that you went back and watched past episodes so you yeah, had like, like Castle I'm all Binge. caught up I, yeah I had yeah. like the, it was me and my mom actually I was visiting my awesome. mom for a week what? and we sat and watched Every season of Castle. Oh my Yay. gosh! It's like we would wake up and just castle it for like <laughs> for hours. Um, That's and, so cool. Yeah, she's actually in India right now, and she I was on set and she, uh, we were doing a scene with everybody, and she she hit me on Facetime, and I was like, "Mom, look who it is!" And she fangirled out hard. Oh my Aww, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That is so neat. Does your mom like the show? My mom has she a loves big the show. crush on Nathan Fillion. My mom like, does too. I'm full on. Yeah. I'm the yeah? only person in my family who watches Castle and loves Nathan Fillion to a point. Like I fell in love with him in Firefly, and that's like where it. Where that's where it grew. From. Yeah. There's still time for us to work on your family, Alexis. It's not going to happen. Okay. Right. <laughs> I tried. Trust All right. me. It's pretty sad. <laughs> um, but uh, the other thing that we we obviously got to talk about, which is, again, with your um, your character, was the fact that we don't know actually what your whole ordeal is, you which sure I'm don't. really glad that we kept that mystery still kind of you open. Sure don't. Um, no. If you don't know what we're talking about, we, we had Allison Hyde come in, who wanted to help out as much as she can, and we found out that Vikram actually... Uh, forged his records to get into well is support. she being honest no but that's the thing is that's what i wanted to get to get into you i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry finish. that's why we brought you in we want the real story yeah but well he can't give away too much I know. but yeah 
I, I can't give away any. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so we we felt like we know we knew who you were Absurd. like three quarters of the way through the episode, and then it was like blah, 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 this this nice guy who we thought we know who he was. Maybe he's not. Right, and then all of a sudden I've got a knife, and I'm like waving that around, offering her food, and then am I gonna stab her? And I like how they leaves. did that. The fact of like we don't know if we can trust him. Cutting cut, tomatoes. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I love how, and I loved how your demeanor kind of changed for this reveal. Because at first you're just like, oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh, I think I'm just gonna stick with you though. Because we need to stick together. And I'm like, all right, what's happening now? You're super confident that you want to hang out with Kate now? I mean, it is Donna, so yeah. who doesn't want to hang who out with Donna? Who doesn't want to spend time with that lady? Especially after yeah. you saw her sew up her abdomen. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she was looking at her sewn up abdomen, but I anyway. I don't think so either. <laughs> um, but I love how also, I mean, it's not completely your fault, but at the same time, it's actually Kate's fault because she actually was the one doing the research on Bracken and his mysterious... Mm-hmm partner thank you so that's what i'm saying i thank can't get you, completely Alexis. mad at you because it's not technically mm-hmm. all your fault mm-hmm. you're just doing your job thank you you're so. actually the first person mm-hmm. to say that and i felt this way for the longest time but i felt like i couldn't say it well do you feel vindicated people, people uh, in the universe bit. yeah can yeah. you put that out no, there a little more people in the mm. universe she started look in my eyes mm. kate technically did this i mean i can't get mad at her and i can't get mad at him either he's doing his job she's doing hers and i mean it was two years Two years, nothing anything. happened, yeah. And then now just all the poop hits the fan. Mm-hmm. And it was just terrible. And I'm, I feel bad because that's five people dead. Or now I guess six because Allison's on there too. My life's Spoiler upside alert. down. How yeah. about my life? Yeah. My life's a Sitting little... There, you was... know what? Basically, why you got to blame it on Vikram? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to. Why? It's just that right now he's just that weird that weird mystery card that we don't know what's happening. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I can't get mad at you because you were like, my life's in the in danger. Call yeah. Sana. Yeah. So, yeah, it's all good. Thanks. Um, what, what, what was the level of alert you told her it was? Seven. Okay. Oh, yeah, that was, was level seven. seven. That's right. Seven? Yeah. Yeah, okay. so you're right. That means life or death. Yeah, no, we're, that's what she said. We're going to use that now on what? this this after that's show. level seven? It's yeah. level seven right level now. Seven. We have to talk about like, Well, especially that ending. Right Every All the fans, I think, are on level seven with this ending right now. Oh, my gosh. So much so feedback You guys are upset. Hey man, I'm just saying we we found out what 2011 BD stood for. We found out it was an airline. I love how they both came to this conclusion at the same time. See, even and then, apart, they are in sync. That's why I'm not worried again. But we'll get to that. But um, we I've, got we got to the point of. I'm gonna, are I've you got, I got a note that I have to oh. raise my chair. Okay. Yes. Oh, hey there it is. It's gonna stay. Um, oh, hey, you just got a lot oh, taller. taller. Hey, um, but yes. the fact that uh, 2011 BD was in an um, Much better. Yeah. was an airline, and we had. We had them all meet up at the same time, and I feel powerful. You it was are. a it was a tail number, right? What are you, t- what are you sorry? Sorry, you I was trying to. I'm we just, were off on our own. That's okay. I was just trying the, to read off all these airline. notes to get it out of the way. So yes. we were at the tail number of an airplane. We get to, we get to the point of you guys corner the pilot. You guys, uh, do you know? How, you know when she gives you a gun and she's like, mm. "Do you know how to use this?" Oh, I think I can figure it out. Cock, and I'm like, "What is happening?" Well, hold on. I worked at the yeah. AG's office. I'm trained. Like I'm I'm a federal yeah. agent. I just belong behind a desk. So I think we all go through some sort of training. But it was just it was so perfect because everyone's just like, "Oh yeah, he's not gonna know." Oh no, he knows how to use that. <laughs> Did you did you kind of make a choice like yeah I'm gonna cock this yeah guy. I like, was like I'm gonna I'm gonna be really cool about this I, yeah. I so and it in- was so awesome I was like oh man I don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> this is gonna be crazy yeah. did uh, did the props people like give you a little tutorial so on that I've never gun? shot a gun before okay <laughs> and it's I've never, weird I've never cocked a gun it's before. weird at first yeah it's I thought I would hate it because I thought like oh I don't really like guns or whatever it's I shot cool. that first gun and we were at an airport where they were teaching me so like bearded brown guy at the airport oh geez. Jeez. On oh the tarmac, my gosh. on the tarmac, shooting guns. We have to like, we have cops on wow. on set to like oh, no, to lock yeah. up the set. And of stuff. course. So we we have to be like, yo, this oh is happening. God. Everything's cool. He's just practicing how to shoot a gun. Um, he's with us. He's yeah, with we're us. all good. We're, everything's fine. Yeah. yeah, everything's fine. Uh, but yeah, I shot. I shot. It, it, it took me. It took me a second to to look like Did I knew what job. I was doing. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. I was sitting there going, Felt "All really right, cool." It was the first for me. But again, mm. that was that first flag of like, "Okay, buddy, all right." But uh, <laughs> now that you mention it, the that story. the fact you did work at the AG, so that makes sense. You know, you were in DC. Yeah, you're he's an a federal agent. No, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. So now I can throw that out. Okay. And now you know you're already getting higher on my level there. Thank um, you. But we we get there. Obviously, we have a cute little reunion between the t- two of them. Haley's like, "All right, guys, this is very <laughs> touching." But we we have other things. That How we need to awesome do. is she? But I'm sure you talked about that last episode. We did, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. That she's just cool. And a lot of people are wondering, do you? I mean, they want to know for us at least. Do we think that Haley's going to make a return? We did talk about that for episode yeah. one. But they want to know if you're going to be uh, hanging out a yeah. little bit longer in season eight. 
if I'm going to be hanging out, Any you will see talk more of, of me. Oh, <gasps> see, he can't tell us completely, Boom. but apparently that's happening. Cool. There, there will be things happening okay. when I am involved. Oh, okay. I'm okay with this because my, I don't, again, we're going to get into predictions a little bit more later on uh, after our beautiful interview with you. But okay. the one thing I wanted to predict is that I hope that you will be, be a part of the team and help out since we don't have our... Our analyst, uh, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but she was a brunette on the on the season remember, last year. Yeah. And I couldn't find her. So I was like, is she gone? Are you going to be the new analyst? Is well, that what's happening? I will say this. Mm-hmm. I do. I am really good at that job. And my job isn't waiting for me in D.C. anymore. Uh, I think, guys, I think I got that what? one on the nose. Wait a second. Did yeah. you just, like, unravel what's happening, Alexis? Guys, I've been watching since season one. I know oh what I'm God. doing. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. I this love you guys. This is fantastic. <laughs> but... We had a reunion and it was cut really short because Rita shows back up and talks to her because Kate, you know, we all know how Kate is, is that the fact that she cannot let things go. She is not Elsa. That's not how that works. She cannot let it go. She's she going to. She has a passion for justice. And that's mm-hmm. fine. She's my new Batman. That's how that works in my brain. But uh, Rita told her that that's not how life works. It's going to, it's either you need to go on your own or you need to just let it go and be happy with the life that you have. And we Rita kind of, kind of like uh, made her look in the mirror. But that's, you know, she's kind of like, look. Also, wait, wait. Rita's the Here's... example of what your life would be if you go down that rabbit hole, yes. Also, said. Speaking, yeah, of rabbit the, hole. speaking of yeah. mirrors, yeah. mister, I well, love how in what? this episode that the mirror was the only way that Alexis could see what you were working on your computer, and I was like, wow, TV magic. Also, what class at Columbia is that taught in? That's what uh, I'm saying. And also, how yeah. great are those surveillance cameras right. to zoom in so far and clear up this one image? I'm sorry, guys. You know how I'm nitpicky about TV spoilers. TV reality. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but also another thing I, I was upset with was Allison Hyde as well, not to continue into that, but the fact that um, we found out that the burner phone that you so awesomely found out was connected to just her phone. Mm-hmm. And we sadly see her as she has taken her own life in, in that. Which, again, another version we talked about in episode one was the fact that this season is starting off really dark. Mm-hmm. We had the, the Legion of Spider uh, thing happen in last <laughs> episode. Yeah, no thank you. And the fact of we had... Do you have a fear of spiders? You just I have a fear um, of... Anything creepy and crawly. Okay. Because yeah. we've... Yeah, we've both discussed we've both that connected we, I, on we don't that like spiders topic. and cockroaches. I, won't, I don't like snakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, I'm okay with snakes. Mm. I actually oh. have a few of them at home. Do you really? Yeah. We're over. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you guys. I mean, they're not, they're not mine. They're, they're my roommates, but... Are you still going to shave? Even though... Maybe just to spite her. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Now Almost. you're playing games. <laughs> <laughs> Man, um, <laughs> can't even continue right now. I'm done. Hashtag baby face. <laughs> I'm done. Can't do the show anymore. Oh, oh no. Just kidding. Um, but no, so obviously. They're like locked away, the snakes, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they don't hang out. They're in their cages. Okay. That's what I would say. touch that's my, like, my girl that like drapes a snake. No, around. that's my roommate. They're, they're her snakes, and she's a belly dancer, so she uh, uses the snakes. No way. Oh. Your roommate's a belly dancer? Yep, and she's um, a fire spinner, and she yes. does like Wasteland Weekend and Burning Man. My stuff. sister's a juggler and a hula hooper. Hey, that's cool. We should get these two together. Disney version of everything her roommate is pretty much that's exactly what that is i'm also a hula dancer that's a thing i love that are you a hula dancer yeah my my family's Ooh. some of my family are from hawaii they're half filipino half hawaiian so oh, my roommates are yeah. hawaiian. oh that's cool mm-hmm. we shall hang out um wow. mostly just me getting back into the good spots of uh of uh Sunkers. okay anyway um so we had that and obviously we got to the the point of uh kate has packed her bags she is told castle that she loves <sighs> Sorry, it's really hard to talk about this. Just she loves well, him, and I mean, uh, they decided to leave. She's kind of she's she's like the writing in this scene was pretty intense. It was. It was and, hard to yeah, watch. It was pretty intense, and they had to like bring it because we're like, are you seriously going to walk out on him? If you can see my notes, it literally just says, "Damn it, Kate." Damn, damn it, him. damn it, Kate. Because I, I, we were all so excited that we finally got the the wedding of the century. He's in making smorlets. Oh. Making smart. Oh, that how about so that good. Omelet? It was an omelet, right? It was, it was a, it's a smorlet, so it's it's a With dessert omelet. It's a dessert chocolate omelet and marshmallows, marshmallows and, and things. Yeah. Smorlet. Mm. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, what did you think of that last scene? Because you well, listen, watched it as a as a as a viewer. Mm-hmm. Um, I know they spent a lot of time on that scene because I was waiting to shoot another scene, and it took a really long time. How many um, hours were you in your trailer? It was a lot question? of it was a lot of hours. It was a lot of hours. Wow. I, ha- I had a book. Hey. Um, but it was so they obviously was they they want to be very. I know the showrunners and the actors want to be very careful about where where they are going with this story because this yeah. is so important to everybody. And it's mm. casket. 
Yeah. I'm, but if, I just think that if you watch what Beckett does, like, it's obviously so hard. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I know the it's reason why she's doing it. It's not a decision that comes easily. No, and I know that that's not what she, like, she really wants it, but she also doesn't. She worked so hard, and she said that in both episodes, she worked really hard to get the life that she wanted. And we, again, us fans were like, we, this is happening. They're together. They're married. This, this is, is the life that she wants, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and just that now that this has come, you know, you ruined everything. I'm just kidding. Uh, she ruined it. I know, she did. I know. She, she ruined did. You know what? We saw the whole, her whole scene happen out in the hallway, and Alexis and I were watching together, and we literally gasped. But after she even walked out, after did talking you, to Cassie. The turn was the coolest, like, as an yes. actor, the coolest thing I've ever, like, just, yeah. just miserable, and then turns for a second, no. and then just... I oh, bam. But that's I gotta got to do, do this. That's the great thing about yes. Kate, and that's what I love about her character, and that I love that this the show has been on for eight years now, eight seasons, is that it shows like, hey, even though I'm losing everything in my life, I know that I cannot be happy in the life that I am in until this gets put in the ground six feet under. Well, she also has a moment like that in the beginning, and when, when they when they show the scene from the first mm-hmm. episode from the other perspective, yeah. and she gets the call from me, yeah. um, you mm-hmm. see her giving him a kiss, all smiles and, and then, then comes out the door turning. and just boom mm-hmm. she, hard ass she, that's, that's why yeah. she's my Batman yeah. Um, yeah. but no that's just she knows and she, you, JJ can attest that literally I was watching going this isn't happening oh okay she's ready to kick some yeah. ass okay yeah. 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 I'm yeah. back on board yeah. and, um, and, and so. the moment before she decided to kick ass her grief over leaving Castle literally like she it, was shaking she, she literally caught she went <sighs> Or did you like caught her breath? Oh, the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. rough. And I mean, I guess the question for all of us watching is like, what is it? Is there anything in your life in the world that you believe in so much? I mean, even though I'm not an agent or a police officer or anything like that, if I knew that we know of, I mean, ooh. You, have you actually seen Batman and me ooh. in a room at the same time? That's right. Uh, but if <laughs> if it was life or death, and my family or friends or whoever. Uh, loved ones were actually going to be in peril because I was there, I would have to just suck it up and be on my own and deal with it. That's the only time that I would sit there and actually... You would sacrifice. I would sacrifice yeah. everything. What would you? What do you think in your life you'd most sacrifice for, Sun Oh, God, my family, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. I would... And my friends, and like, I, I think, mm-hmm. and I would hope they would do the same for me, but I... Yeah, I think it's the hardest thing in the world mm-hmm. to not be selfish yeah. and to act... For the greater, she's doing it to protect Castle. Yeah. Did you guys ever think Although that she was actually? it doesn't really feel like that to him. No, of course it's, not. It's like and it's gonna I, I'm, gonna, him away. I'm gonna I'm gonna go away. Can't tell you where. But I feel like Hope if this was the other one. later. But if this is yeah. the other, trust me. If we were in, yeah. if the shoes were on the other foot, I mm-hmm. feel like he would do the same. Mm-hmm. But I, he just doesn't see it because of what it's happening How to could him. You? Yeah. But do you, did you guys? I mean, a lot of people in the chat are saying that they were that they were going. They wanted her to turn around and run back to Rick and say, mm-hmm. "You know what? Forget it. We can do it together." Did you just, guys want that, or did you guys think it was a better decision for her to leave on her own? Well, I think it's. I think she's figuring it out too, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think maybe it, she's trying to get a semblance of what exactly is going on and what exactly yeah. the danger is. I think she's regrouping, but I I think. That she's uh, before making any permanent decisions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, erring on the side of caution. No. Smart. Hmm. Okay. You saw from caution. I felt like um, emotionally, I wanted her to turn around. Like, come on, it, your mother's death death has been avenged, which one of the characters told her. Come on, go back and have a you know safe, good life. Well, I guess it wouldn't necessarily have been safe. safe right? But as a also as a woman, I am just so fascinated and I depend on Castle to be just like amazingly resilient and strong yeah. and stand up for these principles. And like, that's part of why I love her character. Mm-hmm. On Beckett or on Castle? On Beckett. Oh. On, oh, I'm sorry. I did say Castle. You did. Sorry, I know what you meant. Beckett. I know what you meant. Yeah. Sorry. I did too. No, I'm talking about Beckett. Um, that I, uh, yeah, I, this is what, part of like what I rely on, that this woman really is that strong. She's like a rock. She is a rock. And you see the toll that it takes on her, too. She does it mm. at, at the cost of herself. But yeah. her hair looks so good. <laughs> you know who else looks good, good who I can't really see besides Twitter? Uh, you guys. Uh, I want to take a minute to talk about iTunes. You guys got like that segue I just did. Um, so smooth. That's, that's good. good. Guys, 
As you can see, we're in a new studio. This is not our usual spot. And mm -hmm. a lot of you guys who do watch After Buzz in the normal, we do have four new studios. They all look different. We all are just doing big things here. And the only way we can keep our lights on and our producers happy is if you guys rate us and just tell us how we're doing. Go to iTunes, find After Buzz TV, find The Castle After Show, or any of the other shows that you guys love. We do about 100 to 200 shows a week. Oh. And, yeah. And, you know, we, other, we also have two other channels here as well. If you love movies, Popcorn Talk is a thing. If you love anything that has to do with just politics and culture, we have Black Hollywood Live as well, which I am also a part of. Uh, Blasian. Thank you. thank you. And we just want to make sure that we're doing a good job here. If you guys have any feedback or even just tell us that we are doing a good job, we just would love to hear your feedback. Again, on YouTube.com slash AfterBuzzTV, iTunes as well, uh, SoundCloud. We're all over the map, and we would just really appreciate it if we can just get your feedback because you guys are all rock stars. And uh, speaking of rock stars, we got to talk about you, buddy. Sun Crush. Got, what we got to say? Yeah. What yeah. we got to say? Sun JJ. Crush. JJ. How fun is this to have you join us? All right. So can we talk a little bit about your background? Sure. Because you grew up in the Silicon Valley. I did. Northern California. Silicon Valley, yes. Mm -hmm. San Jose, California, I grew up in. But it was I actually grew up in both, both places. I was born in India, and um, my family came over when I was a baby on Halloween night, and they were scared of all the people trick-or-treating because um, they didn't <laughs> know what it was. They didn't have Halloween in India. That's right. Um, and then um, we moved back, and I went to elementary school. Because that was so frightening. Because of that so one Halloween. So frightening. Because of that first Halloween, we went back five years later. Um, and then uh, I came back here for junior high and high school and stuff, and then and then... I came to Los Angeles. Wow, neat. So do you feel like you have a little bit of an international perspective, having grown up I think in two so. countries? I definitely do, yeah. yeah. I, I definitely feel like an outsider in both those places. <laughs> Perfect. Isn't that nice? Isn't that sweet? I know, right? I, that's like so many Americans, though. And, and even people who come to Los Angeles, because most of the people in Los Angeles are not originally no from, from Los here. Angeles. Yeah, yeah. So we're all outsiders. Totally. I mean, isn't that funny? No, but it's, I think it's great to have a perspective that is not... You can step a little bit out. You can have one foot outside and know contextually what exactly is happening. I don't know. I, I'm really grateful for the way I grew up. Yeah. It's kind of one of your assets. Now, a lot of people know you from The Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, That's how I know you from. Huh, so I was like, A huh, huge show. Um, what was it like in, to play Dr. Caleb? What was that like? So, I mean, so much. So ridiculous. Cool. Fun. I was I was living in fan. I was literally like walking through. Universal has that uh, Walking Dead uh, haunted house. And I was at the actual play. It was amazing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it was incredible. And I did most of my stuff with uh, Scott, who plays Herschel. And he's amazing, mm -hmm. and 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 um, Andy Lincoln, who plays Rick, he doesn't yeah. he doesn't break character between takes. He he. Oh, so he keeps his accent. He all keeps time. his accent. No Good for him. I, that was my question. Was I was like, how does it? Mm -hmm. You know, because I've only met Norman Reedus once, mm -hmm. and great. He's that a great was. Guy. I couldn't form a sentence right, talking to him, right. but he just seemed God, like such girls a. Girls really, really? Well, because I've known him from. Uh, Boondock? Yeah, that's uh. what I've known him for. So in my brain, I'm just like, oh, don't kill me. But at the same time, <laughs> it's just. He's he's he has a presence, but he also has that like, hey, I'm here. I can talk yeah, to you. To, whatever. Yeah, just just, we homie. can just hang out because yeah. we met at the airport, so you're already stressed out. So I'm right. just like, I don't want to bother you. Yeah. But I always wanted to know like what it. I know that we're talking about Castle. Good but choice, I, Alexis. Yeah. I just don't. You know, you're. It's the airport. It sucks sometimes. But no, I wanted to know like, I know that it's Atlanta, so it's hot. And it's, it's terrible. And it's summertime. And I think it's that always did, summertime, that too. Did, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That did the heavy lifting, I think, for like just the mood and the atmosphere. Yeah. That, like, yeah. all that sweat is real. That's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I've, heard, like, I've heard things. Uh, it's just like, no, that, there's no added water or no, anything to that. That's you're just me. sticky. Oh, yeah. 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 What is your favorite memory from Walking Dead? Uh, what is my favorite memory from Walking Dead? Oh, just seeing how they do the 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 CGI stuff mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. they um stabbed me in the head. That's how yeah. I died. They stabbed yeah. me in the eye. I remember eye. that. That was uh, terrible. Ouch. <laughs> they uh, the literally the CG guys are right there, and they tell him how to. They he's got a he's got a knife without a blade, and he he basically yeah. like bops me on the head, yep. and then they create the thing that way. Yeah. And I was like, this is so, we're making and movies. So guys. they tell you maybe yeah. what angle to do it at, so that'll be best to see. You, yeah, and like, then he wouldn't really listen, and he, it's hard he did to it the way that. he wanted. Yeah, it's yeah. very hard when you're in the middle of really wanting to kill a zombie. I think yeah, it's, it's hard to listen. It's a little rough because uh, the cool thing about uh, AMC is that they do a lot of behind the scenes stuff, so they show a lot of the fans how to do that. So there was some mm -hmm. times where you'd see like. Um, uh, uh, 
Daryl trying to do something with like a crossbow or something like mm-hmm. that, and it's like just the stick. The so, coolest part of the how they, uh, you know, when they do the when they do the motion and then they yeah. get it stuck in the person, they have to get yeah. pull yes. it out. Yeah, that yes. is some seriously uh, hard acting. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen it where they have to do it by, without anything, uh, yeah. and I'm like, how are they doing that? How are that? you doing that? Yeah. It's so cool. It's yeah. one of my favorite things. Uh, Sorry, I didn't mean to gush about that, but so, I love, that's okay. like my favorite series of all time, besides Castle. So besides Castle, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. Love that's why I said it. These okay. those are the two shows I have to watch. Like the shows all are the so time. different. I know, right? It's it's weird. <laughs> they are. Yeah, but I mean, Castle's getting pretty dark, though. Not Walking Dead dark, but it's it's pretty close for me. It's a good second. Um, I'm going to segue. I was on the campus of your uh, college today at UCLA. You were at UCLA? Yeah, at UCLA. <gasps> You're at UCLA. Yes. I love and that so, uh, yeah, what was UCLA like? It was great. I uh, studied theater there, so I lived. I was <gasps> You're a, a theater you kid. nerd. I'm a theater kid. I'm a theater dweeb. Oh, um, yes. man. So we re- we really time. need to talk did about that. Oh, did you do. David Mamet scenes. I did do David Mamet scenes. Oh, I did yes. a lot of Pinter plays. Oh, Pinter! Oh, wow. Pinter. Yay! What <laughs> dorks? Um, <laughs> Shakespeare monologue, anyone? No, no, stayed away. Okay. Stayed away. Right. Two on the nose. Okay. Um, but no, yeah, I, and I spent four years basically living on in one little corner of the campus with all the other freewheeling. It's a beautiful campus, isn't it? Gorgeous. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah it, was bla- uh, it was a blast. I still live with a guy I went to college with. No, uh awesome. what's his name? His name is Sterling Suleiman. You know him from Vampire Diaries and lots of other things. Hey, Sterling, what up? What up, Sterling? Sterling? What you doing, buddy? Sorry. What is he doing? What up? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably Does he have out. a beard? Is he it? He doesn't have a beard. Why he's not? The, he's the pretty one of the two of us. Oh, uh, darling. Okay. Um, Whatever. Um, sure. What? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. I just mean like, pr- like pretty. He's very manicured. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. Sure. We like our men a little rough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's I'm gonna that? be in the middle. What's that? I'm in the middle. Sometimes it, it depends. Like, like you I can like pull it. off the yeah. rugged, awesome, handsome thing. Okay. And then there are other guys. I'm just like, oh, you're clean shaven. Okay, so you're wearing a suit. Okay. Well, we should can we? Come on up. Should we bring up the man bun? Because I unacceptable. That, that no. needs to go. We're, we don't have to talk. Okay. About it's that. unanimous. We can just move on. No, we it's kind of like the spiders. I, it needs to go. No, no, don't bring Creepy. up the spiders ever again. I will not bring a fake spider. Castle spiders. You have. Fully, I'm never gonna be able to sleep ever again or look in a plastic bag ever the same way again. It was the worst. Oof. God, that was terrible. That was and gross. also, uh, somebody I don't know who it was in the chat, I think it was Chili. He said that Nathan Fillion actually didn't know that those spiders were gonna, were gonna be, be in there because he's lie? because he was he's afraid of them. So, apparently, I mean, I could be wrong. So, if someone knows about that, somebody I have tweeted. I do to me. find that hard to believe because yeah. did you guys notice? Uh, but Nathan's a producer. Uh, on the show, that makes sense. So maybe Stana's he a producer about it. on the show. I also I would warn the lead of the show that you're gonna but put him. But I mean, put a well, bag of spiders. With, over I mean, again, not to get too sidetracked, but like with How I Met Your Mother, they changed the line for uh, uh, Jason Siegel. Is that his name? No, mm-hmm. wait, no, wait. I don't mm-hmm. know. But they changed it where they were gonna have like someone else. Um, like something happened, but they decided to say no. Your dad died, so everything that came out of him was actual real um, emotion. Oh, emotions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if they yeah. wanted him to do that, but I mean, this, these are live animals. Than actual spiders on your face. Which a lot of people are like, those are fake, right? I'm like, no, those are real. Those are no, things those are moving are, on his face. I don't know about the real. bag of spiders. I think those were fake, but everything Alexis else Alexis and I were talking course. about, we think they were um, Hollywood acting spiders. Yeah, they only drink Oh, they were trained. They went to theater school with me at UCLA. Oh, alumni <laughs> reunion. Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. You all did Pinter Place. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hysterical. Sorry, that's I was cute. looking at the chat. You have been so much fun. So what are the chances that you would come back? Oh, I'll be back anytime you'll have me. Cause, Please, because we want to do Because the people would like a little more Everybody loves you in the, the chat. People. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. We're getting some great feedback. Um, yeah, because Abby Miller wanted to know, I know that uh, we don't know how long you were in college for, but how long did you study theater there at UCLA? I, I went for the normal four, four years, years, and I got my bachelor's degree, cool, and then cool. I, I moved on with my life. And then you graduated. I graduated. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, I get that in the wedding song confused consistently. Oh, um, mm-hmm. Boo 69 Beast wants to know uh, who did Sterling play in Vampire Diaries? Do you Ooh, know? He was the black vampire. Oh, that's helpful. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Uh, Sorry, Sterling. <laughs> I, uh, and then he was in Pretty Little Liars doing something shady. Oh, that's cool. Good oh, for yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's yeah. awesome. Well, now everyone's talking about the spider stuff that uh, he did know about it, but it, re- it gave him nightmares because he hey, was... Hey, I got a question. They know more than us. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is left field. No, go for Just it. Just going to take you right that way. Yeah. Um, you said your mom's in India right now. Do they watch Castle in India? <gasps> yeah. They do. Hey. So Except they it. call it Castle. Oh, uh, ca- ca- Castle. Like, you got to I love how you had to turn that. Castle. castle. Yeah. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get some uh, Indian fans tweeting back to us about this show right now. 
Yeah, let's. We're, we're going to make it's, sure It's that also the middle of the night in India, so... It is. 12 they can hours, watch it, right? 12 they hours. Can watch, they can watch it in the morning. It's okay. We'll be asleep, but they mm-hmm. can watch later. It's going to mm-hmm. be on YouTube, like I said. YouTube. That's right. You're right. You're yep, right. After Buzz TV. But uh, before we, we, we go, unless you have any other questions you wanted to ask our yep. lovely guest, I wanted to get into predictions. No, she's done. So, she's had it. Which is... This is what's happening. You're after Buzz ah. TV. Predictions. Light show. I love the laser light show. Marissa does it the what's best. What's happening? So this is our section of the show where we talk about our predictions for the next episode or the season in general, which mm-hmm. I already brought up a little bit from last time, which is what I what I said about you uh, being part of the team, maybe for a little bit, for the whole season, I don't know. But do you have any other predictions? I know you can't say anything, but JJ? Well, I have a concern. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to voice my concern. Preach it, girl. Get on that soapbox. <laughs> it's just that it was really sad when Castle was... Um, it's Okay. When he was kidnapped and he was gone for so long. And I'm just worried right now that, that Kate's going to be gone. Becca's going to be gone. Which is crazy because in this episode, she was so excited to start as a captain. I know. She was already like a day or two late. Like, what's happening? Oh, and we didn't mention she did give her little um, welcome speech in the precinct. She I don't did. think we. And so we had I mean, that moment. Wasn't that lovely? It was great. It was that cool. was That was my, my, yeah. my, my guide into like, okay, we're going to do like a villain of the week like we always do. She's going to be there. It's going to be awesome. Now we're not going to have that. How are we supposed to do that now? I know. I think, did, did you see the preview for next week? No. I wanted to be surprised. Uh, spoiler free. Yeah, um, it's okay. I, I, think, I think the fans are going to be happy with this season. Mm. I'm not saying that the season's going to be bad. I'm already excited to see where it goes. I'm just mm. concerned of what's going to happen with Kate. And obviously we're going to have to split them up mm. because we have to watch what Kate's doing. And we got to watch what Castle's doing. And obviously Ryan Espo, Lainey, all of them. But I'm just trying to figure out who's going to be um, acting captain while she's gone. What do you guys think? Maybe they'll you, just bring you her. You can't say anything. I mean, it's <laughs> like, will they bring her right back in the next episode? That's the question. Or I don't is think this, so. Is this a couple episodes long? No, I think. Or like the whole season. Long. She had That's her back. She's out. She's gone. Look She's, at him. He kind of knows. I'm really he enjoying knows. this uh, He hangs out with Terrence Paul Winter. They go have drinks and he knows everything. Mm-hmm. That's not fair. <sighs> Except they call him Terry. <sighs> they do? I call him Terry. I do too. I don't know him well <laughs> enough to call him Terry, but anyway. Guys, this is the end. This has been great. This, is this has been so much fun. We were so happy that you got to join us today. Thank we you. Thank you so me. much for being here. Thanks, iTunes. Yes. Thanks, iTunes. Thanks, podcast. Oh, uh, sounds so good. All right. Anyway, so <laughs> where can, what do you have any projects that you can actually talk about that you want like the fans to keep up with you and where can they find you on social media? On social media, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at, at Sunkrish Bala. Well, that's a hard name to spell, but... It's, it's on there. It's, it's on, on there. Third, it's there. Oh, mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Um, and then um, I got a movie coming out. Um, <gasps> it premieres um, at the St. Lawrence Film Festival next oh. month. It's called Killing Poe. It's a dark little comedy. Guys, look it up. Go look that up. Mm, yeah. And that'll be out in theaters everywhere soon. Oh, yeah. And uh, cool. more Castle for me, too. Okay. Oh. Uh, trust me, we're all going to be tweeting at each other like, did you see that? What do you think? What's going to happen? I mean, you already know, but I'm not going to say anything. JJ. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us. Please tweet me your thoughts about this week and uh, this season so far at J2Snyder on Twitter and Instagram. And guys, again, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We can't wait. We will be back on track Tuesdays at 4 p.m. here at AfterBuzz TV. We will be tweeting. We will be showing you where everything is. Again, don't forget to go on iTunes, SoundCloud, all that great stuff. There's so many hands going up right now. Uh, I'm going to look over here because you can see everybody. Thanks, guys, so much. Uh, don't forget, you can find me all over social media as ATORES890. Don't forget to send me questions for my Q&A video in two weeks. Use the hashtag Ask a Torres 890. You all are amazing, wonderful people. Be nice to one another, and we will see you next week. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.